hey, just a heads up for all of you before Justice jumps on the Zoom call. When we get to the trick question, what I did is absolutely absurd. But I want to make sure you know what's going on, because he won't. I decided to do a medley of three Faith and War songs that I didn't pick for the game. But I picked three parts that actually don't have any bass lines. I know, it's ridiculous. But it's what I chose to do. This may be a full flop. Let me know if it is. Let's go get to the game. It's time for Guess That Baseline, the game where we play just the baseline from popular songs and see how many you can name correctly. All baselines are from major sections of songs, such as verses, choruses, or highly recognizable transitions. Naming the song correctly gets you one point. Singing or humming the melody will get you half a point. Any challenges will be decided by our distinguished panel of judges. Now it's time to play Guess That Baseline. Uh, welcome back to another game of Guess That Baseline. We have with us Justice from the band Burden Affinity. And if you've been keeping up, you know that that is my band. So this is doubly exciting for both of us because I'm really hoping I can stump him with his choice of Faith No More. Welcome, Justice. Thanks for having me. Faith No More is, is an interesting band because... They're so good, they're so talented, but a lot of people think of them as a one-hit wonder from the 90s. Like, everyone knows Epic, everyone knows The Fish and The Piano. True music fans and true fans of, like, Faith No More know that that catalog is actually pretty deep. I've listened to a few uh, Faith No More songs. It turns out that they do have more than Epic. I, I haven't mentioned the bass player of Faith No More, who's Billy Gould. So if you do not know Billy Gould, you absolutely need to follow him. He literally can morph into to so many different genres and, and Faith No More does a fantastic job of really capturing the essence of all these different genres the way that they play too. My, one of my distinguished panels of judges Mojo is barking in the background there. By the way Mojo you uh, may have seen in our video for New Year. That's right I'll go ahead and link it up there you can see it that cute little dog on the beach that's Mojo. Justice are you ready to get started? I'm as ready as I ever will be, which I'm not sure it says much. Isolated bass, that's going to be tough. You know what you're getting into. <laughs> I'm worried, Tim. I'm worried. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Here is your <laughs> first song. it's just a man but i'm gonna go through the process before i just you know blurt something out okay yes yeah, just a man that's your final answer that is my final answer all right let's see if it's just a man Good job. That is just a man off of King for a Day, Fool for a Lifetime. Coming right out of the gate swinging. You were nervous and you already got a point on the board. Do, do you feel better? Are you less nervous now? No, I'm still just as nervous because I see some people swinging out of the gates and then it's like, oh, wait. Let's see if uh, you can keep up this streak of one. Make it a streak of two. What is that bass line? Well, it's definitely harder than song one. I don't think it's anything off of the real thing. Oh my God, is this a trick? This is not a trick question, because I tell you. Oh, it's a oh trick you, tell me, you, you, you tell me in advance that it's a trick question? Have you never seen any of these before? I never watched this before, except for the Grant one. I watched the Grant one. He's the greatest musician who ever lived. I did notice that you're sitting underneath a Jackson Vegas album there, which is one of Grant's bands. Oh, yeah, that's a great <laughs> album. 
best I can do on this one is I'm just going to go with smaller and smaller and see, see what happens. I'm locked in. Smaller and smaller, final answer. Yeah. While you were thinking it through, you definitely said the right answer. Oh. Let's see if it's smaller and smaller. It, that is the real thing off of the real thing, which you very quickly said you didn't think it was on that album. Yeah, like I'm, th- I'm thinking about that part. It's like that is the last part that I ever would have assumed that you would have grabbed from a song. So, um, yeah, I, I would not have gotten that in a million years. So, uh, yeah, let's hope I don't go one for seven now. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Here's song three. Of course, I had to get a slap line in there being Billy Gould, but do you know what slap line that is? Tim, yep. that slap line must be crack Hitler. I'm locking it in. Very quick. Didn't take much time at all. Let's see if you're right. Excellent work, sir. That is Crack Hitler. Great song. So you are two for three, which is, uh, which is pretty good. Tied with Tony, who got two points on his. Whew. I got to do better than Tony. Four more to go. Now, are you ready for song four? Let's do it. Here's your fourth song. My immediate thought is strip search. And I, again, I'm going to go through the process in my head. Yeah, we're going to roll with strip search on this one. It feels jazzy and smooth and chill, and that's what kind of song Strip Search is. Another, another bold move, just rolling right in, barely thinking about it. You know, I've got things to do, people to see. I don't have people to see. I'm quarantining. Hey, what, what better thing to do while, while quarantining than participate and guess that baseline or watch all of my videos by subscribing to my channel, hitting the bell to get notified of new videos and going back to the catalog and getting caught up on all the episodes you've missed. Let's see if the answer is strip search. Yes, indeed. It is strip search. Fantastic job. Whew. What is that, six? You, you've got three. The all-time record is four. So you actually have a chance that you could be the world record holder for Guess That Baseline if you get at least one more right. Did you have it in you? I don't know. I'm feeling okay. I mean, this is difficult, but we'll see. Well, the way you're getting these right, I think it's not difficult enough. But uh, maybe on the back half. It'll get a little bit harder and we'll see. You ready for the next one? Let's roll. All right. Here's song five. Coming back smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah, we don't even have to go too deep into that. We're going smaller and smaller, which I think I guessed before. But this is actually it. Yes, indeed. Smaller and smaller. Such a good song. You're at four points. You are tied with Grant and Kyle for the world record holder. And you still have two to go. You got to feel pretty good. I don't feel terrible anymore. Are you ready to roll into your sixth song? Let's do it.
the wide eyes makes me think this one might be a little more difficult, but you tell me. It's going to take a, a, a bit of time for me to get it. <laughs> take whatever time you need. Has he moved at all since I've been gone? I feel like I'm definitely going to get this one wrong, um, but I've got to, uh, got to, got to say something. I'm, I'm just going to go with she loves me not. And I could be super duper duper wrong about that. And as soon as you hit play, I'm probably going to be like, yeah, I'm super wrong. She loves me not. Final answer. Yeah. Let's see what took 20 minutes. Woodpecker from Mars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you went with an instrumental. I figured the instrumental would be the one you'd least likely pay attention to because I know how much you love my cat and boys. You know, the thing is about that one is that if you had chosen a different section, I probably would have gotten that one. Now, before we get to your seventh and last question, it is time, because you brought it up a few times, for your trick question. Do you understand the premise of the trick question? Yeah, the premise is I'm not going to get it right. Let's see how you do. Let me know if you need me to play that again. <laughs> it seems unfair. Is there a single is there a single answer to this? Or I know it's a trick, but I mean I, I mean it, there is definitely an answer on the back side of this. Okay, can you play it again? <laughs> Any baselines coming to mind? You've given me a hint that causes me to have to think it through. I love that you're trying to think it through. Uh, can you play again? This is the third time you need to hear this. I'm going to go with the challenge part one. Let's see if you're right. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's be aggressive, but wait, it's, oh, it's all this, there's, it's a medley of Midlife Crisis, Be Aggressive, and Epic. Specifically, the break in Midlife Crisis, the beginning of Be Aggressive, and the ending of Epic. So you basically gave me something I have literally no chance for. Yeah, uh, I did. But there was actually a hint in the video. I never would have dreamed that you had done the, the empty parts of, uh, you know, the bass-free parts of uh, Faith and War songs. I should look up the, uh, uh, the tempo to Midlife Crisis and the tempo of part one and see if uh, the challenge part one is the same. And if so, I'm going to give myself a point for that. These are three songs that I really, really wanted to get in this game. And they just didn't work. But this is a way that I could show some love for these three songs. So you're on your final song now. Song seven. This can be the difference of tying for the world record with Grant and Kyle or being the sole world record holder by yourself. I'm going to do my best. Let's do it. What is that bass line? So I feel like I recognize the bass line, but not where exactly it sits within their catalog. Hey Mojo, are you here to give me a hint? Is it naked in front of a computer? We already know it's not be aggressive. Tim's already used that one. Is it caffeine? <gasps> Hold on. What is it? What is it, Mojo? Is it collision? Tell me again. Mojo says it's collision. Well, how much do you put your faith in Mojo? Mojo, you're going to the pound if you're wrong. Let's, let's give it a shot. Collision, final answer? Yeah, yeah, let's go with Collision. Sorry, buddy. It was really nice knowing you. You're going to have to get down now. <laughs> All right. Tied for the greatest ever. That's uh, you're, you're in good company, though, with Kyle and Grant. For, for what it's worth, 
I did a quick survey and, and nobody wants you to actually send Mojo to the pound. So please don't. I mean, I'm glad, but are you sure? You yeah, you should, you should not send Mojo to the pound because... That's cool. I mean, he, I could have been the best ever, but he said collision. He did. He did. Of course, you listen to a dog that's incapable of speaking. So make sure you're checking out Burden Affinity, Justice's band, also my band. Uh, we have merch. We have shirts. I'll link that below. And of course, there will be uh, links to our YouTube page and songs and all the fun stuff we have to offer. Um, but any parting words before we sign off, Justice? I guess one, proud to be tied for the uh, greatest ever to play, uh, to play this game. And, uh, and two, I, I suppose that now that I've, I've done this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, smash that like button and, and do the thing with the ringing of the bells and all that kind of stuff so you can get all your subscribers. That's, I'll finally do that for you, buddy. Much appreciated. And, and I love it when the guests do the work for me, plugging the channel and all that. So thank you for that. You at home after you're done smashing the like button and subscribing, ringing the bell and dropping comments. Keep making beautiful music and see you in the next one. 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 I am tired. <laughs> you want to try that again? <laughs>